What's going on everybody? This is Sean of Raw Select Music and today I want to talk about this album right here. This is the Juca Escala Soul Trio on Timian Records. I really like this album. I've been listening to it a lot recently and I wanted to give you a little bit of uh, my thoughts and opinions as to why I think it's worth checking out. So, with that out of the way, let's get into it. So with a little bit of research that I did before shooting this video, I came to find out that Juca Escala is apparently a fairly in-demand trumpet player and flugelhorn player in Finland, and has played on over 200 different recordings, which, yeah, that's pretty cool. Don't really have much else to say to that other than, yeah, that's pretty cool. And he's a pretty talented guy. He seems pretty cool. I mean, just look at that cover. Seems like a pretty cool guy to me. So, I, before getting into this album, the one thing I want to mention is with uh, Kamasi Washington being such a big name in jazz music right now, and actually probably one of the most visible modern jazz musicians right now. If you're into that sort of sound, this doesn't really sound anything like that. Kamasi Washington definitely represents that more spiritual, Sun Ra side of jazz, whereas this, I would probably compare it to Donald Byrd's Sidewinder album, which, I, if memory serves me right, that came out in like 62, and that's when jazz was sort of moving out of post-bop, especially on Blue Note, into what I think would eventually be called soul jazz. And that Sidewinder album is actually a pretty good reference point to what this album sounds like. Because this is not just a, a funk and soul album, this is a soul jazz album. And I don't know what else to say about that. Now I think it should be said that I'm a pretty big fan of hard bop, post bop, and soul jazz. That basically anything from the late 50s to early to mid 60s and anything that came out on Blue Note, I'm generally going to be a fan of. And considering they seem to be really channeling that sound on this album, I pretty much already knew that I was going into this that I was going to like it. But the good thing and a positive point that I can say about this album is it's not just an homage to that sound. I think they really are trying with using elements from that era to create uh, their own sort of unique sound while also paying homage to that sound at the same time. So I, I've sort of established what sort of vibe is on this album, but how about the music itself? The one thing I will say about this album is if you're expecting a pretty solo heavy album where every musician sort of gets a chance to show off their chops and everybody sort of takes a turn one right after another after the riff and melody have already been set up, this isn't really that kind of album. There are definitely solos on here and Juca Escala takes the majority of them and mostly just sort of adds the sort of lyrical melody to the music. But in for the most part, most of the musicianship on here, the band is playing together and allowing Ju Juca to do his thing and then coming back together. And there's sort of this push and pull that kind of goes back and forth on the majority of the tracks on here. That being said, with Juca Escala sort of being the star of the show, this shouldn't really take away from the other musicians on here. Because the drums, the bass, and the organ work are all top-notch. I, I have to say the drums on here are some of the finest drums that I've heard on uh, an album for a while. And I, honestly, they, they just this band sounds really comfortable playing with each other and really know how to work in service of a composition. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. Now I know I've said hard bop and post bop ad nauseum already throughout this video, but truth be told, this album actually leans more in the soul jazz territory which I was talking about before. And a good example of that sort of soul jazz sound for if those of you who are unfamiliar with the term, which is basically jazz pulling in influences from funk and soul, 
during that sort of transition period out of hard bop and post bop. Uh, a good example of it would be these two tracks right here, introducing the Soul Trio and Martha's New Movement, which are easily the two funkiest tracks on here and both feature some fantastic drum breaks for those of you who watch my videos and are always trying to keep an eye and an ear out for drum breaks. These two tracks right here, they'll do you right. In terms of the rest of the music on here, it definitely leans a lot more heavily in the jazz direction rather than the funky jazz sound of the two tracks that I just talked about. And it explores a wide variety of tempos, moods, and sounds. A uh, particular highlight for me on this album is the last track on here, Soft Drop, which really just emanates that empty, end of the night, smoky, jazz, bar, lounge sound that I used to associate with this kind of music, and I still have a soft spot for it. A lot of the other tracks on here tend to be more up-tempo and are really fun to listen to. That being said, it does lead me to one little nitpick that I have about this album. I guess my only minor nitpick with this album is that it, it really just doesn't feel adventurous enough and kind of pushes it into pleasant background music territory. Now, I have no problem with pleasant background music. For me, though, it, it just feels like there's something that's not quite engaging me on this record, which is to probably more of a personal preference thing than it has anything to do with the actual, actual musicianship on here. Because the actual musicianship on here, like I said before, is fantastic stuff, yet I still don't feel like this album has just that one hook that really engages me as a listener, but may maybe that's just me. I will say this though, these two tracks right here, fantastic, fully engaged, love it, would buy, would buy again, definitely, uh, yeah, I love these tracks. That being said, the one thing that I can recommend this album for if you're just getting into jazz, and I'm not even talking about European jazz, I'm talking about jazz in general. And since jazz is such a vast, huge universe of music, it's really hard to find a good starting point. And actually, that's where I can highly recommend this album. If you have very little experience, but are interested into getting in interested in getting into jazz. There we go. Perfect. This is definitely an album that I can recommend to you. I personally wish it was just a little bit more adventurous, but I still find a lot of enjoyment to be had with this album. And hopefully you have too. So that's where I'm going to end it today. Thank you very much for watching. As always, go down into the description, go to my WordPress or Steemit blog. That's where I keep the music links so you can check this album if you haven't heard it yourself. Let me know if you have heard this album. What did you think of it? Am I wrong? Did, should, are you happy with the way it sounds? Should it be a little bit more adventurous? Let me know what you thought down in the comments. And I'll probably do a, another music review coming up soon. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.